well. Hello guys, you can still see it's me, if you remember me. So, today is going to be a update video for February 11th, which was today's date is. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I know it has been a while since I last saw one equipment video, so I decided to do one. So, here's the steel BR420C man, I'm still sitting here. Yeah, it's been almost two months since i ran it ran this thing and it also has been uh about a month ago since i last made my clean video so yeah so i have been working on some piece of equipment just this past uh i think just a couple weeks ago I still have not looked up the still HS45 hitch trimmer. I do need to look at that soon. Uh, the still of 55 r if I showed you my Christmas update video while you're up for Christmas, was this good used recoil starter that was good used condition. So I actually installed it on here and uh, I think it's looking fine. And the rope is still in good shape. So, at least it foot's fine. Um, yeah, we already did the Bureau 420. Uh, remember, I cleaned it and put in the spray plug air filter and fuel filter in there. So, yeah, but it's good. Oh, also, I did install the new fuel lines on my Echo PB265 and backpack blower. Uh, that's better, but uh, hopefully, we'll see if that helps the leak whenever I do the startup video. So, yeah, also, I did, and uh, I also worked on the Ryobi SS25 as well. I put a new aftermarket carburetor in it that had the bots in there, and I put new fuel lines and the fuel filter in there. So, yeah, so we'll see if it will start in the startup video it better so also uh well since today is february 11th uh you probably know what this is it's this the long blade 10323 if you remember that i told you uh i bought it back in february 11th of uh 2017 about five years ago so I've had this mower for exactly five years. This is probably one of the best mowers I think I've had. I think it is one of the best ones. And it's still running fine. I know it is getting a bit old, but uh, yeah. Yeah, it's still sitting here and I have not put the lawn boy cover up this year. I mean, it's cold, you yeah. know. But, uh, yeah <clears throat> um so yeah i i just cannot believe it's been that long since i've owned it it sure has been great so yeah and i did have a lot of money into this thing but i don't know it's still a good more yeah you can also see the honda each of it's 217 VK mower still sitting in the box. HRN is right there. Um, yeah. So, oh, also, I was also gonna show you something. I did uh, get something that you really don't see. Oh, yes, this thing right here. This is uh, something you don't even uh, see this very much, and I've never had one of these before. So, this is why I thought. I'd to make this update video because of a uh, this really nice machine well this is a craftsman uh leaf back or a tripper shredder back they're called power propel but well this is still a self propelled model and this thing is almost like when you look at it it looks almost like a craftsman mower but the engine is just pretty much mounted onto pretty much a different style deck. 
but except it's just a vacuum. So, yeah, this is really interesting. You don't even, you don't even see these as much. Well, they do make a uh, Troy Belt and Cup Get Up kind, which is uh, the same thing. And, uh, yeah, so what I did, I paid, I paid $125 for this on Facebook Marketplace, and, and even, uh, self it, it actually, it actually, uh, starts up and runs good, then the self pod actually works. Not a bad deal for, not a bad deal for $125, I think is pretty good. I did have to, uh, do, uh, a little modification to it, because this is the bag itself. So you can see, well, this is the clasp. So one clasp on this side was broken. So what I had to do is I had to go by a quarter by 20 inch bolt with a washer and a wind nut and that actually solved the problem and I had to put Gorilla tape underneath it what's actually in this cloth material that's had somewhere in here you can't see it but somewhere in here it had like a lot of tears and all and there was one small hole right there that I do need to tape up but I need to empty stuff a bit so yeah so uh I did ran this I did ran this thing last week it still has some gas in the tank and has oil in it um it still won't be used very much because this is you know only made for probably spring fall cleanups just chipping up some branches and vacuum up leaves I did try to thin out vacuum up leaves and uh it vacuums it vacuums fine so yeah this is pretty interesting one this one has an extension hose on here, and this is the chip and shoot, and this is the suction part for the vacuum. I might try and make a video of uh, me chipping up some branches, because I do, I think I do have a couple of uh, small branches, though, less than one and a half inches in diameter around my yard, I guess, so, yeah, the chipping capacity is one and a half inches in diameter or less. So, yeah, this, I'm pretty impressed of how it works and it works fine. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a good vacuum, I'd say. But, uh, yeah. The only thing it does have is after I was using it, it had some sort of small, slight small oil leak somewhere dripping out here, but it wasn't a lot, lot. As soon as I looked at the uh, dipstitch at the oil level, it was still at the proper level. So I'm thinking maybe the sump gasket is starting to become a bit worn out, or because I know it wasn't leaking oil off of this dipstick tube right there where there would be an O ring or gasket right here. So yeah, I'm thinking that it could be some gasket, but. But who cares about this for now? Because, like I said, it won't be used as much as you think. Only a few times for the, uh, maybe in the springtime, probably March actually. I'm gonna do some cleanups if, if I have to. But, yeah. So. Yeah. Um, and I think, I think in the, because in the fall time, whenever I start using this thing again, I'm guessing I'm gonna try and change the sump gasket if I'm if I'm going to. So yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's still it still runs good. It starts right up in two poles, and it runs smooth. It does not surge at all. By the way, this Bridge and Stratton engine, it's a 190cc Sitsum 5 series. This is a Quantum engine. It's very similar to that Intec right there. That's on my cup gear. Very similar to that. I can tell there are similar differences on this 
The only one I can tell is that the old, well, the old dipstick looks almost the same, but the one you can tell the same is look at the gas tanks. Let's see. Yeah, gas tanks look very similar. So, yeah, well, the gas tanks look pretty much the same to me. So, yeah, which is nice. But, uh, yeah, I have nothing to say about this, but other than that, it's still a good vacuum. It has soft power with drive in it, and it has this lever, which is your low speed and high speed. So, yeah. Oh, for the Lombury 10550 Duraforce I had pulled out here well over a week ago because I was working on it, I had to take the cylinder head off to place the head gasket, well, not that, to clean the carbon off the piston. And I didn't get it off as much as you think. So, yeah. Well, all that, but Tempo 50's muffler is still looking very nice and shiny. Yeah, it has been a while since I ran this thing. I know, it's, it's, it's been a while. And it's nice and cool outside. It's actually warm. It's like 67 degrees Fahrenheit outside, so which is really nice. So, yeah, let's just go on the tremor, the tremor. Oh, um, okay, well, uh, tomorrow I'm actually going to, I actually have to go and do my very first lawn this year. Well, which is kind of going to be crazy because I know it does sound a little bit too early for me to do it, but I have to do it anyways. So, wouldn't be too bad, but just only for the back or something. I'm not gonna film it, so. I play about just using the Husqvarna Honda engine and use the BS 600, so. I have to go get some, I gotta go get some Honda oil, a bottle of Honda oil to fill up in the Husqvarna with Honda engine in it, so. Because I drained it since, uh, I think it was November. And I need to get another one for the HRN as well, but the HRN won't be started in March. So, <clears throat> so, enough about my update. Oh, actually, the FS90R you remember here? Look at it, it's still here with me. I still have it. I don't know. Yeah, there's really no point for me to give it back to my next door neighbor yet. Because I don't know if it doesn't want it now. So, yeah, but also the reason why I actually bought this Craftsman Defac, well, because I always wanted to have one of these since they were nice vacuums. I still have the Toro Power Vac and the Home Light. I decided I'm not going to sell the Toro and the Home Light. I'm not selling those two because since I have this thing, this is definitely worth it than buying a steel or a steel lower back which is useless and it can barely do anything this is i think this thing is way better so yeah at least the toro blower could be good as a blower i could still use it as a vac but it's just yeah useless but uh but i mean it's not bad but who cares but yeah so okay um <clears throat> Oh, yes, by the way, um, what I was going to do was, uh, I was going to tell you guys, um, my startup video, when it will be coming. Well, <clears throat> I know it is February 11th, but it's not that, it's not that, it's, um, so, I'm thinking the startup, startup video it's probably going to be that I guess my guess is to is to do it probably on uh the end of February. I know last year I did it in the last day of February for the handheld equipments which I will be doing first and then the mowers will be next. Mowers will be in beginning of March. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm thinking I'm going to do the 
Started video for the handheld equipments. Probably. As long as it's not raining. And if it's, as long as it's not raining and not too windy. If it's nice and sunny and cloudy, then I'll do it if I can. So, yeah, because I know, I do know my video I'm going to be doing for this year is definitely going to be longer than last year. Just because... Well, I know I'm going to edit it, of course, but it's just because I added uh, a couple more machines in my collection last, uh, no, yeah, well, yes, yes, uh, just the end of last year I did, so, yeah, because I added, yeah, because the equipment I got last year, the Toyo 509 trimmer, if you remembered that one, um, oh yeah, the Honda e 65 s Trimmer, four stroke. It's still there, just 45 hedge trimmer. I don't know if, I mean, this is handheld equipment still. Hedge trimmer, still handheld. So I don't know if I might be able to feature on my start video. It just depends. I never feel like I'm gonna start fitting it. I don't feel like making a repair video for this. I just don't. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to look into it very soon. Uh, yes, I got that. The Bart Splower, uh, the Husqvarna 128 CD trimmer, uh, oh, the Toro Powerback Blower, the Vue 600, what else? Oh yeah, the Murray M2500, that I'm not going to start. I don't like it as much. Throttle trigger cable is a bit messed up, I believe. I, I think so. Yeah, hold on, so I... Yeah. Husky Bonner Trimmer on the Bureau 420, Bureau 600, Honda E63 5S, the Toro, the Murray 1250. Yeah, yeah, so I pretty much added one, two, wait, well, that won't be started, but one, two, three, four, five, It's, so pretty much, well, it's actually seven pieces of equipment that I added last year for handholds, for handholds actually, yeah, handhold equipments I did, yeah, so those are the ones I had, so I got like six or seven pieces of equipment, so <clears throat> I think, I think back in 2020, man, I think. In 2020, I didn't uh, get that much, but I got a few. Uh, if I remember correctly, I, the ones I got in 2020 for the handhelds, uh, I got the Redmat CBZ8500 backpack blower, the Home Light 2 Sacred Gas blowback, oh, and under. Here, this cardboard is my. Oh, my steel FC91 edger. So yeah, it was just those three. So it's crazy that last year in 2021 I added more, which I think it was great. I do miss, I do miss my 2020 year for sure. That was probably one of my good old, good old favorite time. Good years, actually. In my opinion, it just was. I prefer the end of 2020, which in my opinion was just a good year. Well, it was fine, but anyway, uh, yeah, but last year was a pretty good year, actually, but, uh, this year, 2022, well, we'll see how, we'll see how everything goes this year, so we'll see how everything goes, so, yeah, also, I am thinking about, also, I may have not told you this. Well, I mean, um, uh, as you all know, I do know I am still a lawn equipment guy, of course, of course I always am, but I am still a car and truck guy as well. I'm a fan of uh, Nissan Titan pickup trucks, and for just as my 
dream car or like a Corvette C C Z or C C. Well, that's just my dream car, but yeah, I do like cars and trucks a lot still. If I never told you this, so I'm thinking about this year. So I'm thinking about what is going to change this year compared to last year, and of course two years ago. It's crazy, but I'm thinking about maybe making some car truck videos, maybe. And yeah, might be pretty cool. Oh yeah, this is a Nissan Titan picture frame. This one's my favorite one, all blacked out. So yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, so. There's my 27 year old Honda still sitting in here. I forgot to tell you this, I haven't ran this thing over a year ago. Hasn't ran since September of 2020. I don't know exactly, but all I know is that it was last running since September of 2020. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just don't know. So, I was, maybe, I might be thinking about doing a carburetor cleaning video for my DuraForce 10323, if I feel like it, doing it, if not, then I might not do one. But, uh, yeah, nice. Well, anyway guys, so that was just my yeah. February 11th uh, update video. See how my equipments have been doing and still been sitting here for quite a while, for just a month, for a month and a half to two. And also the, my five year anniversary for the 10323 Dura Force, that I've owned it for five years, still a great mower. And my recent one, the Craftsman Super Shredder Vac. And also the updates on with what equipments I've been working on recently. So, yeah, so I'm just in my next video. Like I said, um, maybe probably a cleaning video for the 323. I don't know yet, but if not, I'll just continue focusing on my startup video, which I'm thinking it may be in the next two weeks, two to half weeks. I don't know exactly yet. It just depends whenever I'm going to do it. I was going to do it tomorrow, actually, but I don't think. I don't, I mean, well, tomorrow was going to be like 62 degrees, the high. And I mean, it would be really nice, but to me, I think that's just, a, I mean, to me, it's going to be a little bit early because tomorrow is the 12th of February. So I think it's just going to be a little bit early for me to do it. So I feel like I'll just wait until the next two or three weeks. So yeah, I just decided to make this update video because of my five year anniversary for the 323 and my Craftsman Super Shredder back that I recently got. Well, for a week ago. So. Well, yep, that was it, so. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later.